Last year, I took a class at the Graduate School of Design on green infrastructure and the informal city, which was focused on developing slums in Sao Paulo in Brazil. And um, my project presented a mathematical model to understand how one of the largest slums in Sao Paulo has developed historically. So I looked at GIS data, economic data, social data, and created a model that would help me and the other GSD students taking the class understand what made the city grow so fast in such a long, short period of time. Uh, for me, that course was an example of trying to reconcile opposing disciplines. I was a mathematician, but I was also supposed to present a design project. What a great breakthrough. This kind of challenges happen, I imagine, all the time in real life. And you have to bring elements from different subjects together and create a complete whole greater than the sum of the parts. The best thing about Harvard is that because of all the resources that it has, you can learn about the world not only in, in an academic class setting, but also in a hands-on, on-the-field experience. I did quite many classes that profoundly impacted uh, my life. Um, one of those classes was IDS Translation Lab. Um, it's an engineering elective, actually. And with a couple of students, we won $200,000 from the World Bank to design these microbial fuel cells, which is basically creating energy from dirt. So the way the microbial fuel cell works is that um, there are already bacteria in the dirt and when they undergo um, metabolism, they release electrons. And these electrons are usually just deposited in the earth on metals and other things around. But if you're able to capture these electrons um, through a certain electrodes that we put into the soil, we can generate um, electricity. There are about 500 million people without access to electricity in Africa. The cost to provide on grid electricity is huge and many countries are not ready for that kind of investment. So off-grid solutions, solar, wind, are what's really needed in many instances to save someone's life, to allow a kid to go to school. So the impact of the microbial fuel cells could be great. Uh, we've prototyped it in Namibia and we could see the level of impact it already has on people's lives. So Harvard has tools and resources that can allow somebody who's ambitious and who wants to go out and impact the world to, to just do this more easily and more readily than other institutions, I think.